All right, spoilers for everything that happens through episode six. This won't come out until then. First question is for you, Jasmine. What is the biggest difference between your approach to playing the other in season one versus season two? Oh, well, season one, I feel like most of the time Ty was following the no-eyed man. And so it was really easy to just kind of follow him. (laughs) Whereas season two, sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. Um, at least when we shot it. I don't know in the edit, maybe they'll take him out completely. So um, my approach was more like uh, something was like pulling me or I didn't, I was out of control and yeah, I was kind of being dragged as opposed to following someone. There's one There's one that I can think of, of the no-eyed man. Where he is yeah, there. Exactly. There's one, I forget which episode it is now, but the second you said it, it immediately came back to me. Um, <laughs> live for you, I'm dying to ask this. Please tell me everything about nailing the line Ty, you ate her face. No, this, you wanted the second person to ask about this. So yes. here's the story about that, is that that line was not in episode three originally, but when we were filming episode two, Jasmine just ate her face. Jasmine just ate the Jackie Dummy face. It was there. Yeah, and so Let's the writers were like, oh, great, and then added that line into episode three and then didn't use the footage of Jasmine eating the face. Like, for fun, that was a, that was a choice that you just made in the moment? I was just <laughs> positioned by her head, and I thought... I'm not gonna like lean all the way down to her shoulder. It's more convenient. Well, now because I'm curious, like what it, what exactly are, are the mechanics of shooting something like that? Like what what is the body? So the body is a mannequin, and the, the body that we eat things out of is a mannequin with um, chunks cut out of it. <laughs> the chunks that are cut out of it are then filled with stuff that we can eat. And we tear that out. Mostly jackfruit and jackfruit rice, paper. rice paper. Interesting. I think all of that type of stuff is an art, and I love talking yeah, about it. No, as sick and twisted it as it may be, so they well. made it look incredible. Yeah. The effects teams on on incredible. this show are so skilled. And yeah. they did such a good job. I have a very specific line for you too, Sophie. When you tell um, Lottie, "Good game." What did you want to convey in that moment in terms of how she feels about what Lottie is doing? Is that kind of, you know, I'm not going to follow you moment, but I'm going to let you and your followers be? I think that was just a really, like, emotionally mature um, choice to kind of just give up to some extent and realize that this isn't worth it. This isn't going to get us anywhere. Um I think it's a sweet moment and it kind of ties back to the lightness pre-crash yes. and the mm. how they would have communicated after a soccer game or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, that's the, the teammates, the friends. Yeah, it's you know? so tragic. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was really impactful and so is the nod they give each other before walking off into the wilderness. I love that. Huh. I'll end cool. with this one for all three of you so we could talk about it freely through episode six. I think I'm borrowing this from our Scream conversation, but I love talking about the value of a good scene partner. So can you each name a time on season two of Yellow Jackets where a scene partner helped you access something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to reach without them? Oh my God, all the time. Oh, That time. happens I can't all even. the time. Yeah. yeah. It happens a lot for me with Sophina Lise. There's something, once she has the contacts in and she is Shauna, like, between takes, absolutely not. But when we're rolling and she's in it, we're all just in it on action. I don't know. Something always happens to me. I look into her eyes as Ty, and it just brings out all of this emotion and all of these impulses that, like, I would never consider if I was just writing things on the page. Like, it only happens when we're filming. I'll yeah, borrow your words. Some, something I read somewhere. Emmy nomination. I think so. I really do think so. If you, I think she manifests should. things. Like yeah. she deserves it. She absolutely does. I know she's not going to like us saying that, but truly, uh, like, yeah. You she's, say things that are true, and that yeah. should happen. Mm-hmm. I agree. It really should happen. Yeah, I, I feel like the, like this group gets the best out of each other constantly, and like, and I just it's a delight to work in this group of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 